Hey guys, JWisp here, and welcome to episode 2 of the Minecraft 1.17 Hardcore Survival Let's Play. Here we are, back in the world, and man, before I start today's episode, I just have to say, seriously, thank you, thank you guys so much for the crazy support on episode 1. I just uploaded episode 1 yesterday, and uh, it's gotten tons of support, tons of likes, tons of comments, and you guys seem to really be enjoying it. Uh, one concern I had was people were curious if I was actually going to finish this let's play and uh, yes This is this hardcore let's play. I'm going to play until I die which hopefully won't be for a while from now uh, But anyways here we are back in the world. We also have lots of new people to the series So if you are new definitely go in the description and check out the social media links and follow all of those I really do appreciate it, but we're in the new world we're in the new snapshot and we have lots of really cool things. I'm really loving 1.17 with all the new blocks, all the new textures, all the new ores, things like copper, different textures. I'm just in love with it. I also love Deep Slate and I'm really excited to build with all of this and just see what we can do, see what kind of really awesome builds we can do. But today, I have some pretty fun plans. I want to start off by just getting some basic starter farms going with a lot of the animals we have over here. Uh, we got a really lucky spawn because we have tons of sheep, pigs, chicken and cows all in this little field here so we should be able to make farms for each of them uh, I really only need cow farms and sheep farms I guess you know sheep are nice for the wool and cows are good for the leather to get that enchantment table soon besides that I also want to work on a starter house I want to try to make a pretty nice looking starter base and then I also want to do a bit of mining and I'll show you guys some new mining techniques that uh, are really useful in 1.17 because 1.17 the cave generation and how ores spawn and where they spawn is completely different so even if you were good at mining before uh, most likely you aren't anymore the Y levels have changed caves have changed and things are drastically different but anyways, let's get started with today's episode. Okay, so I got myself some fences and some fence gates. So I think what I want to do is just in this little field here, away from where I'm going to be building a lot of stuff, I'm going to make a few pretty small animal pens just to start getting some starter farms going. I'll probably put like cows in one, sheeps in another, pigs in another one. I think right now though, I'm really only going to focus on cows and sheep. I don't think I really need anything else besides that right now. Wool and leather are going to be the important resources. I should pretty much have enough food, so I'm not too concerned about anything else here. Let's take the fence gates out for now. Let's get our wheat out and see if I can start getting some cows and sheep in here. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think we got him. Okay, perfect. So I only really need to get two of each animal, and then we should be pretty much good to go, so I'm going to go do that really fast. Alright, while we're finishing up getting the animals in here, I did want to address something really quick. I mentioned briefly in the last episode about me being colorblind and being confused about some of the newer textures because they were hard for me to see. And uh, people were kind of curious how I could actually tell the difference between certain blocks. And with me, uh, I have a pretty mild form of colorblindness. It's really strong with reds and greens. But with most other colors, it's pretty much okay, so I can still tell the difference between all of the ores and blocks in Minecraft. It's just some of them are really close. Like I was saying in the last episode, copper and iron are very hard for me to distinguish, especially from far away. But if I'm close up, it tends to pretty much be okay. But enough with that. We have our animals now. I guess we can start to breed them a bit. I was pretty lucky with the cows. Uh, we can breed them here. And then I wanted to stick to only white sheep just so I could sort of control what wool colors I got in case I wanted to dye it and whatnot. Uh, thankfully, we have a lot of flowers around here. You know, we got red, we have blue, we have yellow, we have tons of different dyes we can make with all of this. So we should be able to get a lot of sheep. I think what I want to do pretty early on is maybe make like a small little section of a wool farm for each colored sheep. And then once I get two of each color, I can just breed all them and then get tons and tons of wool and make a sort of semi-automatic wool farm. I think that'd be really cool. But there we go. We got our little starter farm finished. So what I want to work on now is getting an actual starter house. Even though these village houses are nice, uh, they're definitely not big enough and I want to do some of my own building in this world. I'm going to be doing a much larger starter house than I normally do. Normally my starter houses are really tiny, but I'm going to build it a little bit bigger. And so I'll make a lot of cuts so I'm not boring you guys the whole time. I'll probably find a big flat area in this field to make it. I'm actually going to base this uh, starter house based off a house that me and a friend built on this SMP I've been playing on Twitch. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check out my Twitch. It's really fun. I'm having a lot of fun on the SMP. There's a lot of TikTok creators. Twitter people, streamers, and YouTubers. It's really fun. But regardless, for this house, I'm going to need a ton of birch wood and a ton of oak wood. So actually, let me gather the oak wood I had from before. 
Uh, I think that should be good. I'll give myself a little bit more food. Actually, I really didn't need all that much. And then I pretty much just have to chop down a ton of birch trees. I'll need a lot of birch wood, so I guess I'm going to start here. I guess it doesn't really matter if I cut down a lot of the trees around here. I don't really need them to look good. Plus, I think birch wood is a... Uh, I don't know. I think it's not the prettiest. I used to really hate birch wood. I used to refuse to build with it because I thought it looked ugly. But then I realized once I really, you know, gave it a chance, I was able to actually make some creations that looked good. And this house was one of them. I really tried to challenge myself to make something that looked good with birch wood. And it somehow kind of worked out. But I need to get a lot of birch wood and a lot of oak wood. So I'll do that off camera so I don't bore you guys. Alright, I've been chopping down trees for quite a while. I have pretty much like a stack and a half of both woods. A little less birch because I actually realized for this house I'll need a lot more oak. I went through an entire iron axe, the one I had before. So I made a new one, chopped down a couple more trees. But uh, something interesting I noticed right when I went back to my house there. So at the end of last episode, we actually placed a copper block outside my house. Because copper actually oxidizes and turns green the longer it's out. And uh, this is the first time I've noticed it kind of changed. If you don't know, here's what an actual block of copper looks like. And here's another block of copper. So I'm curious if I pick it up, will it actually be a different block? Oh, this time it's weathered copper. Okay, and there's actually new crafting recipes with it. I wonder, I wonder what I can do with this new weathered copper. Let's see, weathered, waxed weathered copper. That's where you add honeycomb so it no longer changes. And then we have normal copper. I think there's different levels to this weatheredness here. Uh, so I don't know, I'm curious. Oh, we also have those new bundles we can use to uh, store items. There's lots of really cool 1.17 items. We also have that new, like, spyglass. The cake texture is different. I just forgot about all these changes. And of course, we have candles. So a lot of these cool recipes involve honeycomb. So we're definitely going to have to uh, get on those beehives soon. <laughs> but here we go. Uh, I think I should have enough wood. I might need a bit more oak wood, but we can end up grabbing more later. I think what I want to do now is sort of scout out and find a pretty good area to build a house. I think what'll help is let's make ourselves a water bucket really fast. And we can use a water bucket as sort of a lawnmower <laughs> to get rid of a lot of the grass in an area. So we don't have to break it by hand. We can just place the water like that, let go, and it clears all the grass. So I think that'll probably be the most efficient way to do this. I just want to find a big flat area so I don't really have to do a lot of digging to uh, make this house. And I also want to build it you know, not some place where there's a ton of trees or anything around because I want to really build up my own area. Now, I know I was saying in the last episode how I wanted to do a big underground cave base, and that's still the plan. I just haven't found a big underground amazing cave to do that in yet. I want to wait till I do that. But this is just going to be a starter house, probably for a few episodes, until I find a good place to actually make a base. All right, we have our big flattened out area here, uh, and I also have the sort of corners of the house laid out. In total, this house will be... 18 blocks by 12 blocks. It's just gonna be a big rectangle. However, the house will look a lot better than a big rectangle. I promise you once it's done It'll look really nice I'm not gonna show the process of me building the whole house because I've already built it before on stream And also it'll take quite a while to show that however I'll still give you guys occasional steps and sort of progress updates to show you guys what I've been doing But uh, also I may have built my house on a lucky spot because I don't know if you can hear but occasionally I keep hearing a lot of zombies underneath my feet, which means there could potentially, potentially, be a zombie spawner. Now, I don't know for sure, but if there was, that would be pretty cool. So, I don't know, let's hope. That would be really awesome. I actually don't know how dungeons work in this new cave update, like if the generation for them is the same, if the spawning is the same. Uh, I think they are the same right now. I'm sure it might change in the future, because, you know, dungeons have always been the same. I'm sure they're subject to change. But anyways, let's get working on this house. All right, it's been quite a while, and here's a small update on how the house is going. So when I initially made this design, I wanted to have sort of a unique entrance. Instead of just putting a door right in the front, I made this little staircase, and the door will be right here. As you can see, I have the windows all along, and just on the top part of the window, I have these upside down stairs to sort of add some detail with the windows. Now the reason I didn't do it for the bottom part as well is because underneath all of these windows, I'll have grass, and then surrounding it, I'll have trap doors, and on top of the grass, I'll have some flowers. So if you put stairs here, it might look weird and interfere with that. And I also have this nice little grand entrance area, I'll uh, fill in these gaps a little bit. I'm just pretty much completely out of wood, so I am I think I'm just gonna mine some oak wood until this axe is uh, pretty much broken, 
and I'll probably go to my house, get some iron, and make a new one. And then I also have just one layer of slabs around this floor here, but this entire floor will be filled in with slabs. I'll also fill in that floor with slabs, uh, just so, you know, slabs will save us some wood instead of using oak wood. And then after that, what we're going to do, and I will show it off, but we are going to build up a giant roof going straight up. And it's going to be oak wood stairs on the outside, but on the inside, using birch wood stairs, because I think it'll look really good. And doing that will also give us, like, another extra two floors to the house. So in total, this house will be about three to four floors, uh, just depending on how you want to make it. And so I'm excited to show it off. I'm going to finish it off now, and then once we're done, I'll give you guys the grand tour. All right, this took a long time, but I finally finished the house. I don't really have a decorated inside, so I'm really going to only showcase the outside. Uh, I also went back to the village and got my old chest there and got all my items to get a little bit more food and some more resources. But here is the house. And I have to say, I think it looks pretty good. Let me close the doors really fast. So when it was nighttime, I actually killed some skeletons just to get a little bit of bone meal so I could bone meal at least one layer around the house, add some flowers, and I also got some flowers myself. Uh, one thing I actually did when I stopped recording last time, first thing was place the grass or the dirt so I could actually get it to turn into grass. Uh, and then we have that. I have that all the way around just with flowers. Uh, here's a side of the house in case people kind of want to copy the build. Here's kind of what it looks like. It goes four blocks up here. And then I have a, uh, you know, a plank, a stripped plank. And then I have, you know, some windows, more stripped, more windows. Uh, front, pretty much same thing, but we have this roof. And this is what I was talking about. This is why I needed all the birch wood. I put oak wood on the outside, but then on the inside I put birch wood. I actually saw this design somewhere on Google a long time ago, and I think it looks pretty good, so I went along with it, and overall I think it looks really awesome. Now let's showcase the inside of the house. I haven't spent any time decorating the inside, but I just have my block here, which actually it's no longer weathered copper, it's now oxidized copper, completely green. I have some leftover materials in the chest here. I just have my little basic setup here, nothing uh, nothing crazy, but here's this floor. Uh, I have this little ladder system to go down here. Maybe I'll make some other system to come down here. Down here, I'll probably make a smelting area, an enchanting area, all that stuff. Uh, so we have two floors, and then here is the third floor. And I added these little side rooms. You know, I, used, I utilized the roof so that up here you could add some storage, you could add beds. If you wanted to, you could put villagers. You could really do whatever you want. Or it just honestly looks nice when you look at it from up there. It looks like there's more to this house. If I really wanted to, I could have split this into even more floors or this. Uh, and I could also add a basement so I could pretty much add unlimited floors. But overall, I'm actually pretty proud of the house. I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm pretty proud of it. Next step, though, is I want to add a slightly better path out front. I'll probably add a pretty large wheat farm somewhere out here. Uh, maybe fix my animal farms, make them look a little nicer. And I'll also bone meal up around here more. I'm just pretty much completely out of bone meal. But once I get some more plants, I can uh, make a composter and do that. So that's probably the move. Uh, honestly, uh, to build this house, there's just a lot of tree chopping. I kept needing to get oak wood. Thankfully, there's a forest over there. Uh, but I did have enough birch wood, thankfully. I also added the nice little, uh, village bell as, like, a little, um, I don't know, doorbell or something. I think it looks good. And I try to add a lot of plants outside my house just for decoration because I think it looks nice. But overall, I think the house does look really awesome. I'm pretty proud of it. And this should serve me well until we find a big enough cave to make a giant basin. Again, this is the Caves and Cliffs update. I do want a cave base eventually, but I think this serves as a nice starter house. Now that I'm finally done with that though, I think it's time to do a bit of mining. I still want to explore some of these new caves. I'll take a water bucket with me. Uh, am I I'm pretty much out of coal? Okay, I do, I do have a bit more coal. Uh, and do I have some wood? Yeah, okay, good, because I'm gonna need torches. I'm gonna need a lot of torches. These caves are big and these caves are dark. So I think I'll bring the rest of the sticks with me these torches. I'll grab a little bit of more wood before I go. Oh, actually, maybe a uh, maybe another axe would be useful since I keep going through so many axes. <laughs> there we go. So I have the axe. Uh, I'll leave the iron. I'll bring this and this. We have enough food because I got the food from the chest back there. And I think we should be set. I'm going to try to look in the overworld here for a nice, like, cave, you know, where I could drop down maybe a ravine or the new cracks in the earth. There's a new cave generation cracks, which are thinner than ravines, but go down way deeper. Maybe we can explore one of those. I don't really know. I'll try to figure out something. All right. I've found something terrifying. I found one of these new cracks in the earth, and 
it just goes down so far. I can barely see down there. So I'm curious. Our Y level is currently... We're currently at Y level 83. So let's see how far down this takes us. I'll grab... I'll grab a little bit of this... Actually, no, I won't grab that because that'll take too long. But let's, uh... Let's just ride down this water. There's more water right here I can ride down. I just... I want to be careful because I was saying this in the last episode, but... I have a feeling with these giant new caves that, uh, fall damage might be the downfall of us one of these days. Oh, here's the new glow lichen. Okay, let's see. Let's be careful. I keep seeing... I keep thinking it's diamonds. I wonder how low our Y level can get, though. It seems like... Gosh. We've gone down pretty low. I think once we see the deep slate, that means that we're below Y level zero, right? So, I'm curious. I just want to see... Oh, yep. We're already... Uh-huh. Y level 22. So that brought us down about a hundred blocks, which is crazy how deep these cracks go. Even if you have Feather Falling 4, if you fall down one of these, you're pretty much screwed and you're gonna die, which really sucks. But I'll definitely try to get Feather Falling 4. Maybe Slow Falling Potions will save us one day. I don't know, something like that. But the new Y level goes down to negative 64, so that's not even the bottom of the world, and that's already super deep. I'll have to be careful with skeletons. Skeletons are crazy now. They do so much damage in hardcore. Oh, okay. Maybe let's try not to die here. A lot of people were also yelling at me in the last episode because skeletons were shooting me and creepers were blowing up and I wasn't even using my shield at all. And honestly, I don't have an excuse. I just don't use a shield often so I kind of forget that I can do it even when I have it equipped. I just, uh, I don't know, whenever I play normal survival Minecraft, I don't really worry too much about my shield. I pretty much just never use it because it takes up space. And I don't really need it. Oh, but here we have, okay, here we have some fun ores. Here we have some iron. I guess I'll grab this vein of iron, but I don't really need any more iron right now. So I probably won't get too much more. Uh, oh, we also, is this lapis? The, the new lapis texture? Yeah. The lapis texture didn't change too much, but I still think the new one looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm actually, I'm not a huge fan of the iron texture, though. And I also, I don't really like the new redstone texture. It looks kind of, kind of bubbly and weird. But, so, diamonds. Diamonds still start to spawn at Y level 16, and they go down, I think, all the way to Y level negative 64, I think, to the bottom. Uh, I can link the new Y level charts down below. I'm not entirely sure, though, so as long as we're below Y level 16, we should be good, but mining is entirely different now. Everyone in the past had their own mining methods. Some people would swear by strip mining. Me, I would turn on my subtitles and swear by that. Uh, I thought that was the best method so I could find caves. And I have a feeling that that still might have its place um, because the new meta for mining is pretty much just to find, there are occasionally you will find these giant underground caves. And in them, since they are so big, there's lots of glow lichen, if, as long as your brightness is high enough that you can see, you should be able to just look around and find tons and tons of diamonds, especially if it's at a pretty low Y level. Now, we're not at a super low Y level, but some of the, uh, the deep slate, what is it called? Not grimstone anymore, this deep slate caves, if you find those, <laughs> you're in luck, because whenever I find them, I find tons and tons of diamonds. I find so much. It seems like diamonds are almost more common now than they were in the past. I think, you know, the spawn rates proportionally are still about the same. It's just that if you get lucky and find one of those big caves, you know, you can walk around and get 24 diamonds enough for a full set of diamond armor in just a couple of minutes. It's really crazy. And if you have Fortune 3 on top of that, you can be the richest person in the server. But I'm gonna keep looking around here. I don't really know where to go. I'm, I'm just kind of farting around here because this whole this whole crack in the earth is really deep and I'm really scared. I don't want to take too much fall damage. I don't want to mess around too much just because I don't really know what to expect. The The generation of how these generate and spawn, are st it's still a bit wonky. It's still kind of new and I'm new to it. So I don't really know what to expect. Our y levels, we're at Y level 3 right now. I want to see if I can find a cave that leads deeper than this. Okay, I've been moving around here and I found one of these pretty deep... Uh, deep slate caves. They're not actually called deep slate caves, but they have deep slate. This is cobbled deep slate. And so I want to go through here and see if we can actually find some ores. I know. Oh, here we have some lapis. Okay, so what they actually did, Mojang with the latest snapshot, added new textures for ores that are inside of deep slate. They actually made it so that instead of stone around the ore, there will be deep slate. For some reason, this isn't following suit. Maybe because it's surrounded by cobbled deep slate instead. I really have no idea. It's supposed to be a deep slate ore instead of, you know, the normal ore. So, 
I don't know. We should be good. As long as I keep this area lit up, we should be able to find a lot of these ores. I won't skip... Uh, I might... I don't know. I might skip some of the ores. I don't really need a lot of the iron. I mainly just want to look for diamonds. We got that one diamond in yesterday's episode, and so I would like to get more. This is what I'm talking about, though. This is the normal gold ore, and then we have the deep slate gold ore. But our Y level is low enough that there could potentially be diamonds in this cave. Here's the, uh, the deep slate iron. I think it looks pretty good. I just really want to find diamonds, though. I think if we keep looking, hopefully there's at least one vein of diamonds in here. I don't really know what biome we're in. There's a piece of gold. I'm not too worried about it. I want to pretty much light up this whole cave and explore it really fast, though, because I haven't really explored too much of these new caves. Let's be careful. Okay. <laughs> and I want to see kind of what they have in store for us. Obviously, I'll grab the gold. Uh... Oh, okay, there's some of the deep slate redstone over there. I actually don't know. Maybe they don't have deep slate lapis yet. Maybe that's just not a thing. There seems to be a lot of gold, though. Wow, there's a lot. <laughs> hmm, let's see. I really want to look around for the diamonds, though. I feel like there has to be at least one of diamonds. Maybe I'll just go through here really quick and see. Oh, there's another one of the uh, underwater caves. I don't think I'll bother going under the water because I'm not trying to die. But let's see. It seems like we're having bad luck. I know people are going to yell at me saying I'm missing ores. I really just want to light up the whole cave first and kind of see. I'll grab that gold later on, maybe. But, hmm, any diamonds? Maybe not. I think it might depend on the cave type, though, too, and the biome type, and what biomes are nearby and what caves are nearby. It really depends on a lot, I think, so I don't know. We could head down there, but I see a skeleton, and I think a zombie over there, so I want to play it safe. Unfortunately, no diamonds in this cave, but I don't know. I'll keep looking around. Uh, I need to, to find some coal so I can make some more torches here. Hopefully, there's a coal vein I can find, and we should be pretty much set. Well, I haven't found any diamonds yet, but I have been using subtitles to look for sort of cave sounds like water, uh, zombies, things like that. I've been following water and zombie sounds, and I found this little cave, so I don't know. Hopefully, there's something good in here for us. Uh, oh, there's the water. I at least want one diamond vein. It's weird because in the snapshot videos, I was looking through these caves, and I found tons and tons of diamonds. But here, I don't really seem to be finding much. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Maybe because I haven't found one of the really giant caves. I don't really know, but I'll keep looking around. Hopefully, we can find something good. Let's check out the other little part here. Uh, I also do want to get a... Uh a silk touch pickaxe, my first iron pickaxe broke, but I really want some of this glow lichen. I think it would be really cool if we used it to, oh, a dungeon, uh, get our cave base around. Okay, here we go, I'm cool with this. Uh, let's light it up, maybe we can make a XP farm out of this. Oh, okay. We got the music disc. Which one is this? We got 13, okay, good one. Oh, and we got a cat, bomb, there we go. We got two fire music discs, perfect. Maybe I can use that, uh, <laughs> the one diamond we have to make a jukebox and play it, but I don't know, I'm really not finding too much. I, I don't know, we had a little bit of a bad mining luck today, but hey, at least we got the dungeon. We're definitely gonna make an XP farm out of this in the future. I think the move now, though, is just to head back to the house because, uh, just in case this pickaxe is gonna break soon, I wanna... Oh, whoa, 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 I didn't mean to even do that. Oh, God, I didn't realize this was silverfish. Okay, let's be careful. I don't wanna die here. Uh, but probably head back to the house, make some more pickaxes so I can do some more mining later on. And also, I don't know, maybe we'll make a jukebox and play some of these music discs. Are we good now? I mean, hey, at least they exposed some gold. But I still hear silver fish. I'm gonna be careful and try to head back to base now. Well, we're back at the house. I organized my stuff through the chests, and I'm actually kind of sad now. Uh, I could have sworn- actually, I know a way to check. I could have sworn we got a diamond in the last episode. I'm curious. If I do show craftable and type in diamond... Oh, maybe not. Oh, because I don't have it in my inventory. But does di Oh, diamond stuff shows up, right? But netherite doesn't because I haven't gotten netherite. But diamond stuff shows up because I've gotten a diamond before. So I don't know where my diamond went. I didn't make anything out of it. It must be- <laughs> it must be trapped somewhere in the village. I totally emptied that village chest and took everything. I don't know, maybe I put it in another chest somewhere, maybe I accidentally dropped it while moving. I really, <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know, I'm kind of sad I lost my diamond. 
But regardless, guys, that is going to be all for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm having tons of fun with this series, and I have some really cool plans coming up. Uh, as always, if you guys have any suggestions or things that you want to see me do in this series, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like on the video and also commenting down below. It really does help me out and helps out the channel. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next episode.